Good afternoon, everybody. I was trying to get it so you could see it. I hope you can see them back there, but got the uh, Amano shrimp hard at work. Hopefully it zooms in enough there so you can see. I always do enjoy watching them. They're all over the place. They love to hang out on the side, kind of in the thick here. This guy always wants to come up to the glass. I already fed them, but they're wanting to be fed again. Trying to see if we can see some of the the uh, blue shrimp in there, the neos. There's one of them back there, if you can see it. There's an Amano shrimp, one of the bigger ones up front. It's one of those things I could really just sit here for a while and watch only them. It's just so interesting to me to sit back and watch them eat and dig into everything. Like I stated before, I'm really pleased with this tank. This is the 40 gallon breeder. And like I said before, everything uh, in here was um, tissue cultured with the exception of the Anubis Nana Petites back there. There's actually a mono shrimp hanging out back there on there. I have several of them in here. I can't remember, I think I ordered, gosh, was it 12 of them or something like that at one point. And uh, they're somewhat expensive. Uh, I got those because they're supposed to be the best as far as shrimp go, as far as eating algae. There's that loach back there. Those are really cool too. I like them. I like to watch them. But anyway, um, there's another one of those Neos. I ordered them because they're really active as far as eating algae and help with that. But uh, they're clear and they're harder to spot at times when they really get in things, but you know, when they come on the top of stuff, they're they're pretty active at times, even during the day. So, I mean, you still get to see them a lot. I bought the, uh, the blue Neos uh, just so they would be more visible, but I actually see less of them than I do the Amanos. Some of these fish want to keep getting up and personal, these little dwarf rainbows. Then the albino quarry cats down there and a the rainbow. Anytime I feed them, I put a uh, couple of the little bottom feeder. I'll show you real quick. The sinking wafers in. I've been a big fan of Hikari forever. I, the majority of what gets fed in this tank, you know, are going to be the micro pellets and those wafers and then every now and then I'll put some blood worms in or flakes but 
They seem to like it and do really well off of it. I've used Hikari for years. Still got a little bit of green algae on some of the leaves. Next time I do a water change, I might uh, maybe just trim some of those leaves off if I can't get the algae off of them. As far as algae goes, I, so, I mean, a little bit of a cleanup crew, you know, uh, the shrimp don't, eat a whole lot they're they're not going to keep it all clear um i did buy some of the nerite snails as well but i mean they they do a good job i think as far as keeping it off the glass the problem that i've had with the nerite snails in this tank is that if i can show you you can see the shell on the back they fall off the glass on their backs at times and uh they just seem to have an issue at times getting turned back over and I won't see them at first or whatever. And then, I mean, I've just had a couple of them die like that one in the back corner, there's a shell back there. And I guess for a couple of days when I've been feeding and things, I, I haven't seen it and it just, the snail's already dead. So I need to get it out. but. And then some people, if you don't add any kind of calcium at all to your tank, some people leave the shells in there. I guess with the uh, snail being dead inside of it, then maybe it'll start to break down that shell before it will living snails. But anyway, this uh, this wasn't really a video I intended to do. I was just kind of sitting here feeding them and, you know, just was actually enjoying watching everything, moving around and eat. So I just thought I would grab my phone and just record it, share it a little bit. I just really enjoy watching all of them. Anyway, I uh, guess that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching.